Hello, everybody. Uh, extend your faith towards the screen today. God is doing something powerful in your life, and you need this word to get to the next level. Get you off of the level where you're at is a stepping stone, not that the level's bad, but if you stay there too long, it can become bad. Something good can become something bad if it keeps you from the very best. And so we're entering into the very best today. We release our faith right towards that screen, right for you to have the blessing of God working in your life in the fullness of the blessing, like the book of Romans says. Let's look right quick in 1 Timothy chapter 6 and in verse 12. And it says, fight the good fight of faith. And I want you to notice something. Did you notice it doesn't say fight the good fight of mercy? or grace, or love, or even salvation, <laughs> or, or uh, fight the good fight of walking in the Spirit, or fight the good fight of walking in the fruits of the Spirit, or fight the good fight of uh, forgiveness. People's always talk about forgiveness all the time. But you notice it doesn't say that. Why? Because faith is what connects you to all the rest of them. If you're just teaching on your like favorite subjects and what you think your people like and never enter into faith, that's all it will ever be is a, one of your favorite subjects. But faith has to be there so it can connect and make those subjects work in their life. So think about that for just one second. And I want to have another opening here over in <clears throat> Hebrews chapter 4 in verse 2. Down at the bottom there, it talks about the gospel and preaching and everything. But it says, it didn't profit them. You want to enter into some profits? <laughs> into the profit uh, area of life, that your life is profitable? Well, look what it says. Not being mixed with faith. It didn't profit them. So if you'll mix it with faith and fight the good fight of faith, all the fight of faith is is spoken present tense. Whatever it is that you believe in, that you receive, it's present tense spoken faith. That is the only faith in the Bible. When you speak, do you speak the scripture present tense or you just say, I believe they're going to do it someday. <laughs> Guess what that is? That's hope. That's not faith. So notice it's a being mixed with faith, not being mixed with hope or love or mercy or anything. All those are all good subjects, the Holy Spirit, salvation, God, Jesus. All of them are wonderful, but without faith, you can't connect. You can have all the power plant in any town you want, and that power plant is just a thriving, it's a powerhouse. But if you never connect that little bitty switch and turn the light on, you get no benefit out of it. Oh, you know what's there? Oh, you know that power can work? Oh, you know it! But it does you absolutely no good knowing it until you turn on the switch, and the switch is faith. So keep the switch of faith turned on, and the way you do that, that's not just a cliche, cliche, the way that you keep the switch of faith turned on is listen to yourself talk. Or listen to what's going into your ears and your eyes, down into your heart. Is it the word of God or something else? Or just some religious goofy thing that you've heard and you've been living that way your whole life? Oh, God can do it. He's able. I believe God do anything. Oh, yeah, I know. He's going to do it someday in the future. He's got something good planned for you. Uh, you're deceived. <laughs> Faith's always spoken now. You receive now. You talk now. You live now before you can wear it, drive it, smell it, taste it, enjoy it in any way with your five senses. Before your body tells you you're healed, you tell your body you're healed. Before your bank account tells you you're blessed, you tell your bank account that you're blessed. Before your empty pockets say they're filled up with money, you say they're filled up with God's glory and God's finances. That's right, all right? Deuteronomy 8.18 is very clear on that. Read it. You have the power of wealth. Isaiah 53, 5, you are the healed. It's very clear on that. Read it. 2 Timothy 1, 7, God hadn't given you a spirit of fear, power, love, and a sound mind. That's yours. It belongs to you, but the only way it will work is when you say, I have it. 
I mean, you say whatever it is you have. And then you live, talk, walk, and just like you have it. Because the Bible says you do. Now faith. That's present tense spoken faith. I release it to you now. Get the revelation of it now. That means you can't be talked out of it. And enjoy your life now. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a good one.